Previously on Drake Paragon. We are going to the top of this mountain. She is pretty spectacular. You little guy, welcome to the world. We hiked for like 10 hours today. All the people of Vesmana. That's going to be quite a fire. The longer we stayed in Vestmana, the more friends we made. One day, I met a man named Sweeman, who owned a commercial diving company in the middle of town. In addition to his commercial diving work, Sweeman used his truck to transport all kinds of things in the village. I made these plates. You made those? Yeah. What material? Metal. And then I just welded it. <laughs> and now you can carry rocks. Yes. <laughs> He's waiting for you. Yeah. And now if you get scared, it's because he dumps some rocks in the back. <laughs> That's quite normal. This will be Vesmana's hospital here. Yeah, mini hospital or something. Yeah, yeah right next to the school. Yeah. Are, wow. you, are you scared now? No! no? I'm not scared. Oh. Oh, I'm to him a bit. Uh, so with all of the all the rocks in the truck we can't quite get up that hill. He keeps stalling just as he is almost out and I hope he didn't just damage the truck because we did it with a full load of rocks. Yeah, we have a plan. Yeah. He puts the iron shovel yeah. on the load that's in the, in, the, in the aft. Yeah. And then he 
going to push us out? He pushes us up on the road. Oh my god, this is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go put the rocks in the mountains. Yeah, it also not just in our hole up there. Okay. Everywhere. It's mostly rock. It's all rock. It's all rock Every and a piece of uh, soil that's like this, or something. Yeah. Living on entirely rock with just a layer of dirt on the top. Yep. All these trees, these are planted. There are no, no natural trees. Here. Really? Yeah. Son your son coming here. Your son? Yep. Right there, that's your son. Yeah. He has his mother's brains. He has his mother's brains. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he loves uh he loves football. He is walking with the ball every chance he has. Really? Yeah. He sits on YouTube looking at uh, these different professional uh, football players, huh? Yeah. And watches them, studies them, and then he practices the same stunts as they do. Yeah. It's Looks like a great place to grow up. This is a paradise. Yeah, perfect for a kid. It's like not that many institutions where, where you put your children. Yeah. They play outside and, and do whatever, huh? It uh, belongs to school, yep. but it's an open area, and if they want to play there, they go and play there. Aye. They seem to be happy. Almost everyone that I've met here has told me that they're from here originally. Yeah. And so this must be a wonderful place if people it, are going to spend their whole life here. It is a shit in the time. It's weather, huh? It's What's cold. So it's cold. Have storms. Sometimes the houses blow away. Poof. Yeah. It's been a lot of storms. Storms. And more storms than than usual. Huh? I don't know how to explain that, but it seems like it seems like the, the weather is getting worse. Yeah. It's getting hotter. Yeah. And and uh, there's not so much snow anymore. Yeah. But the wind and the storms. The wind, are bad. Uh, when uh, when I was a child, I was I seem to sound like my my dad when I was a child. <laughs> When I was a child, I think, I don't know if it's in my brains, <coughs> I think there was more snow and better weather. Huh. And then the question is, is that true or is it just in my brain? It's probably true. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I really don't know. I've never seen anything like this fog anywhere that no? I've, I've ever, yeah, no, I've never seen it. I've never seen fog this low. Wow. Or this often? They have something, it's called Potlamjörtje. Yeah. Have you heard of that? No, what's no. that? I don't think there's an English word for it. Huh. It's only down at the sea level, like a layer of, of a few meters. Huh? Just over the water. Just over the water, yeah. I read about that. I read that if you're on a sailboat, then sometimes with the fog you can climb the mast. Yeah, on top of the fog, huh? Wow. That's something that's quite amazing. That must be incredible to see. 
So you moved here, yeah, and then you bought this. I bought this half a year ago. After was this guy, he had two uh, trucks like this. Yeah, he yep. owned this car. Yep, and we always hired this car from him for work. So I asked him, ah, you want to sell the truck now? You want to sell the truck now? Shut up, want to sell now? Mm. And then we asked, I asked him to come and, and uh, get the steel and remove it. Mm -hmm. So he came and then he said, yeah, well, now we want to buy the car. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine for, you know, small, yeah. small things. For rocks yeah. back and forth yeah. <laughs> in the town. Yeah. There was no trucks in Vesma. So I decided, okay, might be good for the people in this village, and it's it's like a service to the community. Yeah? Wow! What have you used the truck for? I, I use it for my own work with diving, where yep. we do some constructions and stuff. Huh? Yep. And when we are not using it, I have it here, and and I use it for yeah. things like this. But. It, if anybody needs something anybody really needs heavy something. moved, yeah. you're the guy. <laughs> I am the guy for a lot of things. <laughs> now we are going to do the dirty business. What's that? By fuel. Oh, by fuel. Oh. <laughs> makes me scream. Every really? Day. It's a big part of the expense. It's like the biggest part of the expense. I had no idea it was that expensive. Oh. So, these are liters, yeah. and that's. Danish kroners, yep. divide this number by five to get US dollars. So we've already pumped over 200 US dollars for 144 liters. So that's eight dollars a gallon. Fuel is expensive. Yeah. All these trees over there. Yeah. There's a story behind those trees. Yeah, our neighbor. He's who they call the green man of, of Vesmana. So he made a plan many, many, many years ago. Every year when some uh, new kids start in school, yep. they plant one tree each. For every kid? Every kid. So that's... So that's have, a... You will see there are some small here. Yeah. And they, they, go, they go, I don't know exactly where. So, so they plant one tree for each kid, Some, somewhere in the, in the investment, huh? Uh, it's a man-made forest. So every children in Westman are from, from there, there's a, I think there's a, a map or something where they can see who yeah. planted what tree or something, huh? This is my tree or something like that. Are there people, especially kids, who can go to the tree that's theirs? Yeah, they, our, they... Kid, our kids planted a tree when they came here. They own a certain tree. I thought, uh, if you ask David, I, I don't know. I don't know who's uh, this yeah. who's. All of those trees? Yeah. And these small ones, these are some newer ones that have been planted, of course. Yeah. So as long as Vesmana grows, the forest will grow. Yeah. <laughs> what a neat thing. 